We are now going to go into our favorite spot with our favorite guy, Russell. What's up, bud? It's good. Well, what are we talking about today? Today, it's Saturday. We're talking about Santokus. Um, so, kind of going through just like what you use a Santoku through for. Um, these are not all of our Santokus. These are just a sel random selection of them. Um, so, this basically covers every price point. Um, so, we have the Tajiro Basic. Um, so, first of all, what do you use a Santoku for? So, Santoku literally translates three out of one. So, this is a knife that's designed in Japan for fish, meat, and vegetables. Uh, you'll look at it, you've got a nice long flat on most Santokus and then a little bit of rock up. So you can't rock it super high up to where like you're going to catch your hand or a finger under it. So just that very minimal, but also for, for just push cutting. So when I use a Santoku, I'm going through whole heads of lettuce or I'm cutting up meat. Um, you know, what, whatever uh, I'm cutting, I, you can literally grab a Santoku and use that effectively. Um, so this is a $50 price point. So currently, uh, November of 2023, a, a $50 price point made out of Takafu VG10 with a partial tank. So this is going to be the lightest Tajiro that we sell. Then we have the DP series. So very similar design. Full tang with a solid stainless steel bolster, so that adds that little bit of weight right there. Very similar profile to the blade, um, and just a great, great look, great feel. We, we sell a ton of, of both of these. And then a little bit higher end in the Tajiro, this is the Atelier series. Um, Takafu VG10, I believe it's VG10W. Yes. Um, in a Damascus, and they left this the, just the classic Japanese look with that buffed forge finish in there. Um, I absolutely love the look and feel of this knife. Weight wise, it'll be very similar to the DP because of the full tang and the integral stainless steel bolster. Um, then we come over here to Masamoto. So fully handmade Santoku in Japan. Uh, we have the very traditional Kuro Uchi style with the Hitachi uh, blue number two core and this is a also very traditional d wa handle so this will be very lightweight um and just feels great in the hand if you're right-handed if you're left-handed you're going to want to stick with one of the western styles um very popular among both home and professional chefs this is the misono ux10 um this is made out of a swedish stainless steel um in, in, integral bolster right there again adds a little bit of weight um, but has that lovely handle and I just I love some of the chamfering that they've done on this one um, great all-around Santoku okay then we get into Ryusin this is their Bonton Ryu series it's a 63 layer Damascus with uh, VG10 and just a great stunning knife so it's a damascus it's it's a shiny damascus so you get that that nice pop of shiny as well then we go on to mayabi so mayabi owned by zwilling this is their artisan series so this looks a lot like the series from shun that is it's hammered it's fully polished uh, and then there is a real wood laminate handle so it's basically taking veneer and gluing it together so they can get that pattern to, to match every time. Um, and this is in super gold too, which is one of my favorite steels for culinary use. And then Mayabi staple, this is the evolution. So this is the rocking Santoku. It's a little bit different than the traditional Santoku. The point comes up a little bit higher. So this belly is more like a Gyoto than a Santoku but it does have that rocking effect that is excellent. Um, and this is in FC61 steel, which is a rebranded Scandivic series. So like uh, the 12C27 um, or so. And one of the things I love about this, I love this taper. Like they do a lot of work on getting that shape and it's just, it's extremely comfortable in the hand. Um, so there's the, the Mayabi Artisan. And then here's one I made. This is, a little shorter than my standard Santoku um, in a hand laid G10. Uh, the steel on this is CPM 154. It has our buffed forge finish and then a polished um, primary grind line. Right on. Yeah. All right, y'all. Just to kind of give you a little touch of what we do as far as Santokus, we'll wrap it up here and have a great weekend. See you on the next one.